Uh, the sitting room in this dining room here, the, the ceiling, actually came from a church in Ligonier. So it is three years older than the house. Um, when we were going through and remodeling a lot of this, we found a church was being demolished in Ligonier and we were able to salvage the tin ceiling. Uh, so it is Victorian um, and we had to refinish it. It was quite a, a process, just like everything. We ended up with just one spare tile but it is in keeping with our style of the house and also fits quite well. So um, <clears throat> this is the original sitting room where they would host guests. This is the larger room. And this is our larger dining room right now. This was his office. So all of these built-ins are original. Um, some of them have been painted, so we went ahead to paint over them. Some of them were left intact. Um, this bathroom was his crowning glory for his house. He had an indoor um, cistern that had a windmill that pumped water into the attic and then would pump it down into his bathroom down here. So he had an indoor pumped bathroom. It's one of the first in this part of the state in 1876. Oh. So he was very proud of that. And I, as such, we've kept it as a bathroom. It's still been plumbed, so we, we still use that restroom there. And then this is the gift shop now as opposed to his study. This was the original master suite. As you can see, it echoes the bay window. So down, is the, down in the dining room down there, this is the largest room here. It also has the additional bedroom to the side, which was originally a nursery. Even though it was just his retirement home and he didn't have any children here, it was typical for the time that they would build a nursery. This is our studio room. Private bath in here for our guest who would like a little bit more romantic stay. So this is a uh, jacuzzi tub, fireplace, and queen-size bed in the, in the uh, cherub room.